Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here to review South Park, The Streaming Wars Part 2. And as you guys saw, or you didn't, uh, or I mean, I guess heard, because I, I don't know. I wonder if people stare at my videos or they, like, click on other tabs, or they play it in the background. You know, how do people listen or watch my videos? That's kind of an interesting thing, because I know when I have, when I, whenever I listen to a video like this where it's just a picture, I always, like, click on other tabs and, like, do other work, uh, which is nice, because it, uh, it's nice to have when you have a lot of work to do, and, you know, you can just listen to stuff in the background. So anyway, if you guys heard or didn't heard, I was not a fan of The Streaming Wars Part 1. Not very much of a fan. I thought that it was weak. I thought that it wasn't very funny at all. And I thought some of it was pretty gross. Um, so I, w I really wasn't excited for this part, except for the fact that I could review it and then lots of people will see it because for some reason... Uh, South Park is something that is helpful for my channel, for the algorithm. Uh, everything else I do is like hit or miss. But South Park is definitely something people click on for this channel. I like this part quite a bit. I thought that it was a very good part, especially in comparison to the first one. It would be interesting to see what this part is over time to me. Because I look back at a lot of old reviews for South Park, and I gave a lot of episodes A's and B's, and now I'd probably just give them low B's or C's, and I wonder if this part will be at that uh, in years to come, but I do really like it right now. It does have a few issues, uh, I think just in terms of pacing, because it starts off really, really good. And you think, okay, th this this was good because it's all payoffs to the setups in part one. The setups in part one weren't that good, but at least the payoffs made made everything worth it. There's a lot of funny jokes for sure, uh, and I'll talk about specifics after I get done with this point. But then is the excuse me, sorry. Then as the special goes on the pacing kind of slows down and you know I'm fine with like this being an hour long and everything but the pacing really slowed down in the last in the second half where the kids didn't really feel like the heroes as much as I wanted them to because that's I think that one of the reasons why people don't like the integrity stories are, is because the kids don't feel like the heroes anymore. And they want to watch the episodes where the kids feel like they're the protagonists, they're the one driving the plot, the ones. Uh, instead, in a lot of these recent South Park things, it's just been Randy driving the, the plot, which is fine because Randy's cool. For years and years, people said, he's the greatest character, he's the greatest character. And, and they listened, you know, they listened for sure. In fact, they probably listened to these reviews. Uh, so that's why I always try to uh, be constructive and not just say, you know, that's good, that's bad. Uh, because also those aren't very good reviews, are they? Like I see a lot of reviews like those. I used to watch reviews like those, actually. I used to watch some really bad reviewers. And it, it taught me what not to do and what to do. And if you guys ever want to start doing reviews, that's what I recommend doing. And go back and watch, uh, go back and watch Cool Duder. Go back and watch uh, Spill Reviews. Go back and watch, and here's some bad ones, Schmoes No, Collider, uh, you know, people like that, Nostalgia Critic. You know, watch a good variety of movie reviews from back when reviewers were more uh, open to saying what they actually thought. 
and it'll help you get a good sense on how to do reviews and not do them. So anyway, I still like the, 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 the special overall. I thought that, as I said, there's some very funny moments such as uh, the celebrity endorsements were hilarious. Uh, you know, Fortune Favors, The Mat, uh, you know, that was funny. And, uh, God, those were really funny. I, I loved all of those. Those were probably the highlight of the special. Uh, those would all easily get an A+. Plus. In fact, they all reminded me of another a movie from the 60s called Putney Swope. And I don't know if you guys have seen that. It was about this ad agency, and they created ads, and they accidentally hire the token uh, person on their board. They accidentally hire him as, as the leader after the leader dies. And he basically ruins everything and runs the company into the ground. And it's about the dangers of hiring based on race and sexuality instead of hiring based on talent and there were a lot of funny ads in that in that movie like I think my favorite one was when uh there was this like vent or like what do you call it like a manhole in the in this really shitty alleyway and and it's got all this steam rising up and you have this woman and she's got soul. She's got to have soul. And she's just like swinging around and dancing. And it's like just the worst commercial you've ever seen. But it's hilarious. And somehow it's also like pretty, pretty good. Like I'll always remember all the commercials from that movie. Uh, and then, of course, she says, you can't eat an air conditioner. And it's just really, really funny. Uh and that's what these commercials reminded me of. I mean, uh, all the eating and drinking of the urine and the, the thing with the bobbing for apples. That was really hilarious. And you know what? I was worried because, as I said, the first part was gross. But somehow they took that and they and they made it really funny. And they didn't make it gross like it could have been. It was a little gross. Uh, partially because... I have my own pee story, and, well, it's a recent pee story, and I've been wondering when to tell it, uh, so here it goes, and don't worry, I will talk more about the special, it's just, I've been waiting to talk about this story for months. So in February, I was trying to do this award show that kind of uh, shat all over the Oscars and revised them. And I called them the Jones Awards after my favorite actress, Jennifer Jones. And I really like her a lot. She's very, very uh, perfect. And so I thought, if I were to name an award show, I guess I'd name it after her. Uh, and it also is pretty funny because Jones Awards sounds like such a generic award show. Uh, but it's not, it's, it's not anywhere near being generic. So I wanted to film it, and I wanted to be drunk while filming it instead of doing a drunken commentary, and a disaster happened, let's just say. Okay, I had a, I had a big can of Voodoo Ranger IPA. I had two large, tall cans of True uh, Fruit Punch Seltzer, and I had two and a half... Uh, Hefeweizen or something, the, the yellow, the, oh wait, no, Summer Shandy. Uh, I had two and a half Summer Shandy bottles, and by then I was, I was really messed up, and you know, I definitely did too much too fast, and it was just a terrible idea. It was stupid. I'll never do it again, but I went up to my old room, and uh, because that's where I like to film videos sometimes, uh, it has a nice sound quality in there. And I was filming, and I was just like, you know what, why don't I do something crazy? And so <laughs> I really had to go to the bathroom, but I was a, I was really, really, like, having trouble, like, walking because I was, like, just so dizzy and just going, whoa, whoa, just like, you know, I could not walk very straight. 
and I didn't think I could make it to the bathroom, so I, I, I pissed in the summer shandy bottle, and then I thought, you know, it would be really funny if I drank that, and I, because there was still shandy at the bottom of the bottle, so I thought, maybe I should do something crazy and drink it, and be like, I gotta get to the shandy at the bottom, uh, guys, and so I, dr ugh, ugh, I'm thinking about, I remember the taste, I drank the whole bottle, and oh, oh, <laughs> and <laughs> I can't, then the, the show was just complete nonsense anyways, it was a terrible video, kind of like this one, I guess, uh, and then I was feeling really sick, and I stopped the video, and I just, oh, I'm starting to remember, oh, ugh. I have a, a memory where I can remember tastes and remember sensations like that, and oh, and so I got up and immediately I started puking all liquid all over the script, all over the floor, and I left a trail of liquid puke all the way to the bathroom, and I puke I puked about three or four, four times. And it was so bad that there was, like, blood coming out, just little bits of blood, and it was awful. And it was and it was all for nothing. Because guess what? The next day, I found out that the Oscars weren't until next month. So I accidentally did the video a month before. I gave myself a horrible hangover. I, it, was, it was a disaster. It was just a nightmare. And so that is my pee story. Uh, I drank a whole bottle, and it was so gross. It was so gross. And I'll never drink true uh, fruit punch seltzer either, because it all tasted like the seltzer, like that coconut flavor, and it's heavy on the coconut. Anyway, if you guys aren't too grossed out, here's the rest of the review. So... Other than that, I really love the Karen stuff with Randy being a Karen. That was genius, especially at the end when he uses his Karen powers to defeat evil. And I would also say that Mr. Pee Pee, he was still that annoying stereotype, but at least he, he wasn't as much in the episode. He wasn't as annoying, uh, so I like that too because I was worried about that. One of the flaws, though, I would say is uh, Token's dad. Uh, he was kind of like a... He just wasn't very funny. He just wasn't a great character in this. Like, he he was basically just a plot device character to where he provided help, information, blah, blah, blah. And then they had this thing where it was almost like a Planet of the Apes movie where the kids go underneath the water park and they find Man Bear Pig has had a boy, and he also has a wife. And uh, that was that was pretty funny. But a lot of the stuff, it went on for a long time in terms of, like, the pacing could have been more fast-paced, or there could have been more to it. And another thing was Butters, I mean, not Butters, Butters was great. He had a really funny line that I laughed, uh, laughed out loud a lot, too. Uh, Cartman... Uh, with the boobs, because he has boobs now uh, in this special. Unfortunately, there really wasn't much clever comedy to do with his boobs in terms of they were really just there to jiggle up and down and all around the whole episode, and then at the end, we actually get to see his boobs, and then uh, they actually suck all the implant out like oh that was the gross part that was actually the grossest part of the episode not anything to do with the pee uh but i i i, I like that you know i like that they got rid of his boobs but i don't know i felt like they kind of chickened out of having more like clever comedy and smarter writing to do with the issue of children being allowed to get these surgeries that they shouldn't be allowed to get you know, life-altering surgeries, uh, you know, really, really gross. 
And even though this, this special makes it funny, uh, I really wish that it would have been smarter dealing with that instead of just having them jiggle the whole special. You know, they just, they jiggle here, they jiggle there. Oh no, Cartman has to do something. Oh, his, his boobs are going to jiggle. Uh, that's the joke. Uh, there was a really good part, though, with his boobs where they kind of did a noir parody where the, the police chief, he was sitting there and he was talking about like a uh, like a femme fatale character and then Cartman walks in and so it's like Cartman's the femme fatale and I thought that was really funny. In fact, uh, it's too bad that they didn't do like a whole parody of a noir because I guarantee they'd be able to come up with some good, uh, clever jokes with that. So overall, I, I pretty much really like this special. I like that all the plots got resolved. I like that a lot of the jokes that were set up had good payoffs, better than I expected. You know, I like the courtroom scene at the beginning where, um, uh, Butters talks about like, oh, my job was to just eat the popsicles. And then the judge throws them out because they're all a bunch of fucking uh, dipshits or something. Like, that was all funny. Uh, so I would give this special a B plus. I do think that it's the same way with, if you guys know about Better Call Saul, that show used to be really good, seasons one through three. But then season four shit the bed and ruined the whole show uh, because of their just over love for Kim the character, and other things too. And so ever since that season four, the show was hindered, and the show has never recovered. It's not good anymore. And it's because they handicap themselves, and because they always have to deal with the effects of season four that it had on the future of the show. Uh, and I felt like it was the same way for the special, in terms of they had that first part of the special, it wasn't very good. It was okay. Uh, in fact, they made a reference to the Thanksgiving special in this episode, this special. And I, I can't even remember the Thanksgiving special. I gotta be honest. I gotta go back and check, like, what was that even about? I cannot remember at all. Uh, but anyways, I, I liked it. So I'd love to hear what you guys thought. So please like this video, comment, tell me what you thought about South Park, The Streaming Wars Part 2. Uh, did you like it or, di or did you hate it? Because I know there's a lot of people, they don't like South Park anymore. Uh, personally, I think South Park is a lot better than some of the other shows and movies that have come out. Like, come on, would you rather watch another South Park special or would you rather go watch another MCU movie? The answer is pretty obvious, right? Like, I'd much rather watch more South Park than watch another MCU movie, uh, especially it's, if it's directed by Taika Waititi. Uh, it'll be a big fucking joke. So goodbye, everybody. See you soon.